Imagine this, being plunged into a world of darkness, being told you will never see again, only to be given a second chance at sight. You're about to witness some astonishing new technology, and it's the future of health. Hello everyone, I'm Robin Roberts. For those who are blind, to those who simply struggle with these, yeah, reading glasses, some of the most thrilling breakthroughs in medical history are taking place right before our eyes. Larry Hester was 33 years old, the father of two young children, when he got the horrible news. The ophthalmologist said, you're gonna go blind. It was very devastating. It was like the wind got knocked out of, it was tough. Blindness came quickly, and soon Larry lived his life in the dark, his wife Jerry by his side. I just can not imagine being married to a, a blind person. It's like, because uh, it was hard. I know that sounds awful, but it was like, <laughs> I didn't sign up for that. Raw honesty. And for another 33 years, the couple coped. Reach out for it. Then in 2014, a breakthrough the Hesters never imagined, the possibility that Larry could see again. Look up. It's called the Argus II retinal prosthesis system, the world's first FDA-approved device designed to restore vision to the blind, basically a bionic eye. So this secures it to the wall of the eye. How exactly does this work, the bionic eye? How does it restore sight? It starts with electrodes implanted on the patient's retina. And then the patient wears eyeglasses, has a video camera on it. That actually captures the images, sends them to a video processing unit that the patient wears that then sends electrical impulses wirelessly back to the electrodes on the retina and ultimately to the brain, which allows them to decipher really light and dark. Not great vision, but spectacular vision for them. It's impossible to tell exactly what the patient can see, but it may be something like this. It's not normal vision as you or I know it. So these patients aren't going to be able to recognize faces. They, don't, they can't drive. They're not going to be able to read a book. But what they do get is crude series of flashes of lights in a pixelated fashion that allow them to make better sense of their surroundings. In October of 2014, it was time for Dr. Paul Hahn to turn on the device of his first patient, Larry Hester. I did a little countdown, three, two, one, just to kind of catch my own breath. Three, two, one. And then I hit the button. Yes. Can you see? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, Can you see, you see Larry? Yes. Oh my goodness. Can I give him a kiss? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was so overwhelming. I think my head even uh, rocked back a little bit. It's hard to put in words because for the first time, <laughs> In 33 years, I'm seeing light. So you can see the wall. That's where it changes. That's where it changes, Larry. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Though it's so incredibly basic, and, but it's light, and, and, and it's, in my case, sight. It's my key, bionic right? man. Mm -hmm. That is so cool, Larry. Currently, Argus 2 is only approved for patients suffering from a specific type of blindness, retinitis pigmentosa, which affects about one in every 4,000 Americans. And no one knows if there are possible side effects from the device's long-term electrical stimulation. We visited Larry just four months after his surgery. He's now in the process of learning how to see again in a completely different way. Now the table is white. The table's white. And the, this is black. When you haven't used that part of your visual center for so long. It's a very slow process. Okay, go. Recently, Larry's son-in-law rigged a set of Christmas lights around a basketball hoop. And so I was able to make about four out of seven baskets and... Oh! Yay! Oh, you did it. Uh, that's pretty positive. Uh, that's good stuff. The Argus II is a glimpse at the future of vision that is, dare we say it, visionary. And for patients like Larry Hester and his wife, Jerry, life will never be the same. One night we were watching TV. He came over and 
he was able to see where my face was and he reached out and touched my my cheek and it was just such a sweet moment and it, it brought tears to both of our eyes it was just a special special time